All right, guys, welcome back. So, Kirby, I don't know when we're going to post the previous video we just did. So, I don't know if it's going to be a video that comes after or before. But we did a video on family dynamic and especially hitting on the family dynamic in America and how the family dynamic in America compared to family dynamic in other countries is not the same when it comes to, say, generational wealth, where in other countries, you might see a family owned business that has been in the family for generations and generations, a store, something basic. But in America, as we all know, something like that gets liquidated immediately. I mean, you know, the grandparent passes away, the kids are already selling the store or selling the house or whatever. So my question to you is, and I'm trying to think of how to structure this wording or word this correctly, but in America, we obviously know there are huge corporations, uh, trillion dollar companies, billion, billion dollar companies. Do you believe or do you think that they understand that this is the, the family dynamic and maybe they try to point the family dynamic in that direction so that they can remain on top and dominate the real estate space, the business space? Uh, the Walmarts pushing out the family owned grocery store, the, you know, Berkshire Hathaway's buying up all real estate and stuff, uh, BlackRock, Blackstone. Do you think that that is a strategy, an active strategy that is approached upon or a strategy that big corporations um, try and take advantage of? Oh, um, yes and no. Yes and no. Yes. At the beginning of time, let's say the I'm saying the beginning of time, like baby boomers was, you know, year zero. But yeah. during the baby boomers era, especially after World War II, it wasn't that wasn't the that wasn't the purpose of it. The purpose of it was, you know, selling the American dream, you know, selling the American dream. And the people after World War II, they sucked it up. You know, after the Great Depression, they sucked it up. You know, American dream, American dream. And then they just passed down, you know, it just passed down through generations to the boomers and everything else. American dream, American dream. You know, that's the only thing you want. And then what happened is corporations, they see the cause and effect of things later down the line. And they, you give them a crack, they're going to put a part in it. So the dynamics they've seen of that is, okay, American dream, get a house, have get married, have two and a half kids, Yada yada yada, and then they saw kids leaving the house early, going to buy houses, whatever. And then they saw, they saw the gap in there where parents was passing, and then kids couldn't afford the mortgage because, of course, most of the houses that parents leave to their kids are not paid off. So the kid already have their house; they're paying the mortgage. They can't afford the mortgage on the other house. I mean, information is not was not fluid back then. Of hey, um, you can use it as a rental property or whatever. And then people just didn't want to, you know, rent properties or deal with tenants or whatever, what have you. Just like the reason why property management came about is because people didn't want to deal with tenants. So, so people that's thinking, they just looking at the whole game board and seeing what's happening and seeing where a gap is and they're filling that gap. That's what happens. Hell, I do it now. Like, if... I'm in it like the I think last year when I did the uh, rental uh, bought the property in Georgia. What happened is the the woman who owned the property she passed, and then she passed, and then the only living sibling or relative whatever she had was her brother who lived out of state. He didn't want the property, and he was just trying to liquidate it as fast as possible. I just filled the gap. So that's what it is. I don't think they out there malicious saying, hey, yeah, let's go pump social media and make everybody go spend their money. No, it's gaps created because not per se big corporations did it. I think it was more government did it. But if, you know, all this, you know, buy a house, house you live in is an asset. That right there, that mantra is the thing that really set it off. So, I mean, just think about it. How many people you know in your circle that once the kid once the kid turned 18, 19 and they out of college, the first thing they talk about is, hey, I'm getting out the house and I'm leaving. Right. Because they in pursuit of that thing that their parents had. 
Or what they, their parents was striving for, what their grand, grandfathers and great grandfathers talked about, that American dream. So I don't think corporate America is the one that's sabotaging it. I think that whole American dream thing started it. People got into debt that they couldn't handle, then you got the credit card companies and then more debt they couldn't handle and they just filled the gaps. I mean, it's not, it's not many small businesses. Like if you sell the mom and pop grocery store, it's not many small people. I mean, you know, it's like small families that can come up with the funds to buy another one. So why not we just go buy them up? Control the, control the market share. That's, that's how they did it. Okay. So what's yeah. your thoughts on it? Yeah, I was just, you know, wondering because I know there's always strategies in place and ideas that even us that we're thinking of to acquire more. So I would only imagine that maybe on a bigger scale, they're thinking even further or thinking the same way. But I can see how, you know, it's just something that society just causes to itself. You know, They're just creating gaps and big corporations are filling in those gaps. Now, I do wonder, you know, does, are there, uh, there, obviously there should be other factors in place, you know, just the economy itself, but I almost wonder, is our culture in America a part of the reason why companies can, uh, you know, companies are able to um, grow so big? Because like, for instance, in Colombia, there's a very strong family culture and there's big companies, but nowhere near as big as um you know, the companies that we have here, you know, they might be similar, might look similar as far as like grocery stores and stuff. But the only time I ever hear of hundred billion dollar, trillion dollar companies is like in America and they might have footprints in other parts of the world, but they're based out of America. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just going to go at it. I was trying to be PG 13, but if you look back at the 1960s, and I, I'm going to talk about my culture, but it goes across all cultures in the United States. The family dynamic is not something that's pushed a lot. I mean, just recently, I heard a kid telling their mom, I'll call CPS on you. So, so they, give, they give kids all the avenues in the world to break away from the family culture. I mean, the same thing that happened when they brought the SNAP program, the food stamp program, uh, to inner cities. The family dynamic just broke apart. You know, before the 1960s and uh, African-American neighbor, I mean, families, it was, you know, 90%, 95% of it was married with kids and they lived together. Then after that, the food stamp program came about. And then next thing you know, now we're probably sitting at a 6%. 50% rate of mother and father households with kids. Because again, who created that? It wasn't corporate corporations that created that. It was governments that created that. Now, is the government been able to corporation? You could, that's a whole nother argument. But to, and then you add in now that you know kids can veg out on social media. Kids can veg out on you know entertainment, sports, whatever. You know, now it went from your dad, your hero in your house to now dad's gone and the local drug dealer is, is the only father figure around the block telling you to get in the house. That's that's not that's not corporation made. It's, it's really not. It's the government made it. The corporation just took advantage. And that's the same thing that we do. We take advantage of situations. I'm talking about we as in me and you. We look at real estate deals. We try to take advantage of a situation to get a lower deal. That's all it is. We didn't create. We didn't create the problem. We just trying to take advantage of it. That's that's America as a whole. I mean, the you know, the the no pride in itself. Like, of course, my son does MMA. The the pride that you see kids in his age range not having and being okay with just taking a loss. Okay, it's okay. I lost. Back in the day, if you lost. It was your father was hard on you, telling you what you need to do better. And then when you want a refuge, you go to the mom because she had the more nurturing mannerisms and was like, baby, it's okay. You can't win them all. Now kids is coming out. They lose. Oh, it's okay. I can't win them all. Give me the eighth place trophy. 
Oh, hell no. <laughs> Parents look at me like I'm crazy. Like, what's it's okay if you look. No, no, it's not. But that's the loser mentality. And I think, uh, what's it, Dana White that said, if kids today grow up with 10% dog in them, they can take over everything. I mean, these kids today, they soft, they have no pride, they okay with losing. And from the boomers, as the generations got older and older, they got softer, 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 softer. So it was easy for corporations to come in. Oh, let's just flash some money in their face. We know they're going to blow the money back at the same store they just sold, it, sold to us. But let's just go throw some money in their face, flash them a couple of dollars in their face that they ain't seen. And, and they go, they're going to forget the whole family, the whole lineage. They're going to forget what their grandfather's blood, sweat, and tears for. And they're going to forget all about it. And that's what happened. They just took advantage of the situation that was out there. And... And I think it begins with the family dynamic structure is not as solid as it is in other countries. Don't let me said, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to share, subscribe to this video, like this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.